earlier this week, we identified a historical buy signal for Bitcoin. And in today's video, it has been confirmed as of actually uh, a couple days ago. And I want to be going over and extrapolating the more high term time frame look on Bitcoin as to what's likely to happen in the next seven to 10 days and perhaps, you know, onwards from there as well. But before we get into that, I want to once again, welcome back to the Eric Crown Crypto channel. And I should once again, let you know, Meta Signals has fired off one of those crazy Bitcoin signals. I got to say that uh, at first glance, I was certainly not. I was certainly a little bit uh, skeptical of this one, but you can see that this 30 minute signal over here, which was a power one, which is kind of like the perfect signal for Meta Signals, uh, has has met actually all three targets. And I should add that the target three is, you know, rather low probability. So whenever you do see something like a deep target like this met, likely does imply that, hey, this is a very, very strong move, obviously, and likely to spill on over to the higher term timeframes, which I think is obviously happening right now as well. So without further ado, let's just jump right in to, into it, starting off with the first chart of the day. That would be the hash ribbons indicator over here. It did fire off that blue buy signal. It did indeed get confirmed the day after that we spoke about it. And that is going to have major implications uh, for the more long term, I suppose, over the next couple months here. Um, and also, of course, in the short term as well. So first things first, looking at this signal again, anytime that we have seen the signal, which there have been 19 in the total history of Bitcoin, it has marked off that the prior trend low for Bitcoin on the higher term time frame, so you know, minimum daily, um, has been the low before Bitcoin never went below it ever again on a daily closing basis. Um, and in many cases ever even close again. Now, that did not happen three out of those 19 times. So 16 out of 19, that that was the case where it never went lower. In this case, that would imply that there is a very high probability, about an 84% probability based off of this historical signal that $56,000 will be the low for Bitcoin. And we expect Bitcoin to have a pretty uh, tremendous move to the upside. Tremendous! <laughs> um, you know, in the, in the next coming months, actually. Uh, now that the signal has been confirmed, the average time that it takes to play out for the first major move before the first major correction is just over two months at 64 days. And the average move actually has been over 60% as well um, for, well, for that, which, you know, from the current low would put Bitcoin where that would put Bitcoin basically in the, you know, in the 80 to two to maybe even $90,000 range uh, with, again, a time sometime around, you know, end of September slash early October, kind of heading into the end of the, uh, you know, into the last quarter of this year. So do keep an eye on that. That will kind of uh, guide my own biases going onwards and forwards from here. And while we were looking at a pullback to open up this week, which we did get, um, it does look like that pullback is very likely over. And when we go over here to the weekly time frame for CME, which is going to be closing the weekly today in 14 hours, six minutes, and 51 seconds and counting, we see several things. First, HPDRV, which represents volatility, is on the floor. It's literally on the floor in a way that we haven't seen since last September, which preceded obviously that amazing run from you know 30,000 bucks to kind of where we're at now, basically. Um, and that is going to be accompanied by a momentum signal, the weekly RSI, confirming hidden bullish evidence, also reclaiming the moving average right here, and very likely you know leading upwards and onwards. And even the weekly jewel is about to very likely signal another upside move as well. So this move probably does extend from here. What do I, what what am I trying to say? Uh, as far as like conjecture goes, if if you were looking for a correction lower, I don't think that that's likely to happen anymore. Uh, Bitcoin very likely has the low win um, earlier this week. Like we said, uh, you know, a short term downside move is very likely. We got that Bitcoin did get down uh, below sixty four thousand bucks, which did hit the first major target uh, or area of interest that we were looking for on that. But so far, so good. And as of this point, I actually. I don't really have much of a reason to believe that it's going to uh, continue on with that correction. It's very likely sideways and up from here, just based off of this chart. Low volatility, hidden bullish evidence, weekly jewel about to turn up as well, which is going to be momentum and volatility all combined, all different indicators right here coming at it from slightly different angles. And then on top of that, just looking at moving averages, this red five exponential moving average right here on the weekly time frame for CME has been a really good just governor of overall trend. Whenever Bitcoin's above it, that those are your those are your like trending momentous moves. Whenever Bitcoin's below it, those are also your trending momentous moves to the downside. And of course, what is relevant about this is that one, Bitcoin reclaimed it as of last week, and then two, it has used it as this week's low to kind of buoy itself off of. So I am looking at this now as 
as the move, the move in progress. And of course, the move is not complete without the moons, without the moons. Everyone's favorite chart running over here. This one absolutely just destroys some people mentally and other people love it as well. Probably, probably as always, the answer is somewhere in the middle. Um, but, uh, but we do have the bull moon, the bull moon, which actually fired off on Sunday. And that would imply that historically speaking, over 60% of the time, that has led to the next two weeks of price action being, well, positive. Positive uh, to a rather you know decent degree, I would say. If we go over here, the average winning trade has returned about 14.5%. The average losing trade, losing an average of 7%. Um, so we can kind of come up with some areas of interest from that. Of course, I am biased towards the upside here. 14.5% to the upside puts Bitcoin basically on new highs at uh, 75000 bucks. If it were to play out to the downside, which I think is less likely, um, that you know I guess that could indicate that Bitcoin is going to correct down to 61000 first i'm more skeptical of that based off of the price action from the last couple days now um i also want to address like some of the comments to see about this as well because they're actually quite misguided um some people are like dude you're obviously the moons work you're dcaing into a you know in, into a generally up asset it's like uh okay how do you you can so easily test this for yourself by just choosing any any two random dates and that does not hold up. Like if you chose uh, Monday and then two weeks from Monday to just generally go in, it's not gonna be the same. And then also, of course, you know, we can generate statistics from this and that's the real, um, you know, that is the real advantage of it is knowing the average returns during those times because those play out incredibly well. So anyways, uh, probably shouldn't be addressing like things that I think are really self-evident to the overwhelming majority of people, but, <laughs> but, it, but I just saw some shit and just like, Jesus Christ, man, like use your fucking brain for a goddamn second here. Kidding. Well, I'm actually not, but <laughs> use your fucking brain. Anyways, um, also what we should be aware of is that the daily time frame, the daily time frame over here is about to have what I've been referring to as a crown cross um, cross the upside. In fact, on CME, it is, it is in there now. Uh, the 21 is trading above the 55. And if you come from the crypto school, which we just had our first workshop yesterday, but it is still free to join in the link in the description below, um, then you know the relevancy of that. And so, you know, this, to me, at sixty-four thousand bucks for CME is, I mean, got to treat that as the next higher low. Uh, as long as that is, as long as that is a case, um, which obviously offers up a very easy and obvious invalidation uh, point as well, which is just as important. Anyways, let me get back onto my notes over here. I think I'm getting a little bit sidetracked. Let's go now to momentum signals. Of course, momentum over here. We can see that the five-day time frame again is going to continue uh, very likely with upside momentum as long as Bitcoin's above. $58,000, so looking likely as of this point, I would say, um, CME, which is closing at the weekly, uh, to you know, later today is going to continue with upside momentum, also rejecting getting into the bearish control zone, assuming that today continues to close above 62,450, currently trading um, uh, almost 6,000 bucks or five and a half thousand bucks above that pivot. So again, very likely, um, of course, not a certainty, but very, very likely, um, which also, which, you know, would very likely open up the doors for continuation uh, when next week starts, you know, Monday, basically. So that'd be the big things that I'd be looking for. But you know, if this is going to play out, we probably would even be expecting continuation or at least an attempt for continuation today before that weekly does close. Um, if Bitcoin does close a red weekly like this, I guess there is the potential for a lower high, um, which Bitcoin could reverse from next week. But ultimately, uh, I, st I still think that that would be probably low probability. Um, but we'll we'll address that if that does indeed happen. Obviously, we'll know that situation with clarity tomorrow. Um, anyways, ending this one off, we'll go over to the HPDR ranges. I think that this one just accurately summarizes uh, the current um, range and, and, and chart very, very well. Uh, Bitcoin, very close to reclaiming the median here on the daily HPDR. It's actually where Bitcoin's found its high as of right now, currently at 67,450, basically. Bitcoin starts to close above there. I would be looking for Bitcoin. Bitcoin to have um, extension towards the top side of the 382 level minimum, uh, maybe even the 50% level, which gives us a range between about 70,400 all the way up to 71,800. Um, you know, I wouldn't say like super soon after that, but probably into next week if that does happen. So keep your eyes on that one for tonight's closure. Obviously, um, I would express, I guess, 
uh, some some caution, some caution, I suppose, or at least the possibility of a continued correction with, I, I suppose, 61000 bucks as the next sort of uh, area of interest to the downside. If Bitcoin were to come back down on a daily closing basis below 65000 bucks, if that were to happen, I suppose that would still be in the cards. But as long as Bitcoin's above there, I'm not looking at a further correction as relevant. I'm actually looking more as at uh, sideways and up from here. Of course, we already looked at the weekly from earlier this week. Bitcoin has found um, the 38.2 level uh, as, again, a nice sort of booing area. Uh, area. And looking at HPDRO and HPDRV, I mean, it's going to be hard not to be looking at the median as a general magnet for price action, um, which is currently at 75,000 bucks. You know, in the coming uh, in the coming month, probably in August. Again, the there is there is a couple points of um, of uh, uh, what's it called um, opposite of 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 what the, what the my damn English is not working today. It's not working. It hasn't been working well this this whole week. Um, there's po- there's a couple of points of contention here. I guess would be the right word, in the sense that. Um, you know, if Bitcoin were to come back down below sixty-five thousand bucks, yes, I can I can entertain that again. But for now, uh, looking okay, and you know, really the next thing that you'd be looking for if you are bullish is for CME to, CME to close out this weekly green, um, which it's actually quite close to doing. Uh, well, for CME, so we'll update on that tomorrow. Um, that's going to really drive the bias on this channel, at least, as to well, is Bitcoin likely to like probably retest highs or 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 maybe make new highs um in the first week of august or not uh so that will be the focus of tomorrow and for today you can see kind of all the setups in the background obviously the moons the moons giving a nice probability uh in the more near term and again uh, also one of the uh one of the good things about this setup is that it is time based as well so we have a time frame for those uh for those targets which would be 15 days from the signal which would put us on the fifth day of august so yeah about a week a week let me just double check a uh, little over a week 10 days or so um from now uh would be would be what we expect if this one does follow through with that so yeah that's going to do it for today i uh, as always i want to wish you the best the best take care much love and see you hopefully next time